another weekend, another opportunity to explore the beautiful hills of green England, starting in this very pretty medieval town called Much Wenlock. We are out and about in the Midlands today again. It is Saturday on the last weekend in August, which is a bank holiday weekend here in the UK, meaning that on Monday we have public holiday, so it's an extended weekend. We decided to come nearby, close to Telford and Iron Bridge, in Much Wenlock, which is very, very, very pretty. It's historical, and then you can do lots of walks around the town. I am Catalina George, writer and vlogger, and on this channel I publish vlogs about traveling and lifestyle. And if you are new here, welcome. And remember to subscribe if you enjoy this vlog and check out the other ones that I have published here. But without further ado, let's go and look around. We've started our day of exploration around this pretty medieval town, Much Wenlock, with a stop at the local tea rooms. I'm always looking for tea rooms like this because in many of these old places, old towns, you will find some very traditional, beautiful buildings, beautiful decorations, and um, obviously some lovely cakes as well. This one is called the Copper Kettle. And it is on the high street in Matchwen, like not very far from a very nice, a very small, nice parking here that we just came by chance and parked, walked a few steps and started to get some fuel in for a day of walking and looking around. I can completely recommend this. You'll see how pretty it is. And now I'm gonna just dig in this cake and Adrian's got his chocolate cake. I've got my lemon one. We'll show you a little bit around as well this, uh, um, in these tea rooms. to visit Much Wenlock here in the Midlands. I have to say that starting at the Copper Kettle seems like the really right place. Fuel up with some really delicious cakes. We just had ours, Adrian his chocolate cake and I my lemon cake. They were like proper flavored, proper like also traditional cakes as well. Really good. And the Assam tea, very tasty. That warmth, that ember taste amazing so have a pit stop here and then go on high street explore the place the abbey or the historical buildings and then take a walk around the town on the hills around as we are going to do today
package just talked to the lady who owns this place, the copper kettle, while I was recording in the garden and sadly this is the last day of business for these tea rooms. What a piece of news! They, are, they have sold the building and uh, we don't know what's going to happen to it. But if you do come to Much Wenlock, I'm sure you'll find somewhere else there has to be another tea room around that you can enjoy. <laughs>
poor Adrian as we were walking back to the car park and we stopped here in the main little square by the Guild Hall. He just twisted his ankle. His muscle on his foot seems to be pulled or something and he blames it on this really cold weather and I completely agree with him. It's so unexpected and so really freezing for the end of August. So I'm afraid that the hike around Much Wenlock won't happen in today's vlog. But that is going to give us an opportunity for next time when we want to return here to visit the actual Wenlock Priory. Maybe do a picnic there and then do one of the four walks, four or five walks that are advertised on the Much Wenlock website on the internet. So yeah, we'll have to reschedule that. But meanwhile, to wrap up this vlog nicely, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the actual town where we so far have already spent three hours together with our nice relaxed meal at the Copper Kettle. If I am tempting you with all the footage that I've recorded here to discover this medieval town, I can tell you that you'll have a lot to see. Whether you're attracted by having nice cakes and a nice meal like we did, or by the actual historical air of this really pretty place, or, you know, by the little surprises such as the fact that it is the birthplace of William Penny Brooks. There are other aspects that you could find really attractive, such as the fact that this town has got a lot of galleries. We stopped at the Guild Hall where an artist was uh, exhibiting her paintings. She is, she's a local artist, um, a part of the Birmingham um, Royal Society of Arts. It was really, really nice to look around the Guildhall and to see her paintings too. Then just walking down the high street, there is a bookstore, there's another art gallery, and everything looks really, really very bohemian as well. So that is a lot more to see and visit in Much Wenlock that I can completely and entirely recommend you do. I was walking again around town so that I can show you a bit more in this vlog which turned out a bit differently than we planned to. The sun has come out and it's really nice and warm but I have to return to the car where poor Adrian is being quite upset because we had to change our plans. We are unable to take the hike, the walk around the town that we were planning to but you know sometimes things happen even when you're traveling you're exploring you can come across nice and bad surprises as well but I hope you enjoyed discovering this medieval town this little gem here in the Midlands that you might decide you want to see one day and we will certainly come back to do the proper walk that we wanted to to visit the Priory and go again around the galleries and maybe discover a new tea rooms since the one that we really enjoyed today is going to 
shot starting tomorrow. <laughs> Look at the sunshine, can you believe it? After how cold we felt the whole day, you know, there's just a little bit of white cloud on the sky now and otherwise glorious sunshine. Oh gosh, this weather is really playing up, isn't it? But Adrian and I are probably going to head home now where we're going to relax, wait for his poor foot to, to feel better. I'm going to probably give him a massage and yeah, just to have a relaxing afternoon rather than hiking. But I hope you enjoyed this vlog and all of the beautiful sights around the around this town. And if you did so, remember to give me a thumbs up. Also remember to subscribe to my channel as well. And until next time, ciao for now!